Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving rational equations. Solve each equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this problem, k squared plus 2k minus 8 over 3k to the third power. And that's going to be equal to 1 over 3k squared plus 1 over k squared. Okay. Well, one thing I want to have is the same denominator across the board. But we have a 3k to the third power. So, if I multiply this first one here by k over k, our denominator, make sure this is multiplication right, become 3k to the third power. The second part here, the last part here, if I multiply this by 3k over 3k, make sure, the reason why we multiply the same thing over itself, because that's essentially 1, doesn't change the problem. 3k times k squared is a 3k to the third power. So when we multiply this out, we should have the same denominator. So the left-hand side here, <coughs> I'm going to leave as it is for the moment. We have k squared plus 2k minus 8 over 3k to the third. The right-hand side, we know we're having, the goal was 3k to the third power in the denominator. So we can put it together as 1. k times 1 is k, plus 3k times 1 is 3k. All right. Now watch this little trick I like to do. I'm going to take this whole denominator here, and I'm, it's kind of like cross multiplying, but I'm only multiplying this one up and across, okay? So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3k to the third. But what that does, right, and essentially, right, I multiply both sides by 3k to the third here, and this side by 3k to the third, cancels that out. And so now, and these cancel, right? And that leaves me with just k squared plus 2k minus 8 equals k plus 3k. Okay? So let's bring all of our like terms together. Let's bring everything to the left. Subtract a k to both sides. So we have k squared plus 2k minus this k, right? We subtract the k. And we're left with just a 1k. Oh, but then we also subtract a 3k from there. I almost got ahead of myself. That's what I get for skipping steps here. That's fine. Uh -huh. Good job, Sean. Kind of got ahead of myself. That was just a 3. All right. So 3k plus k is 4k. So if we subtract a 4k to both sides, let's keep that there, 4k. We have k squared minus 2k minus 8 equals 0. All right. Well, this factors what two numbers multiply to be negative 8, but add to be negative 2, and that's minus 4 and positive 2. So we have k minus 4 and k plus 2, and that's equal to 0. So solving that, pretty easy. We set each one equal to 0. k minus 4 equals 0. k plus 2 equals 0. And so my two options for k here are k equals a positive 4, remember, add 4 to both sides, and a minus 4. 2, okay? Or minus 2, positive 4, however the order you want to have. But we told us that we have to check here, okay? So we've got to make sure we check both of these. So to check here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each number individually, plug it to my original equation, and see if the left and right hand side are equal. So let's do 4 first. 4 squared plus 2 times 4 minus 8 over 3 times 4 to the third power, and that should equal 1 over, remember the original equation, 3 times 8 squared, plus 1 over 8 squared. Okay? Let's say if we get this whole big fraction at once here, 4 squared plus 2 times 4 minus 8, that's all going to be uh, 16, and we're dividing that by 3 times 4 to the third power. And our fraction here should be a 1 twelfth. Next one, eight, uh, th 1 divided by 3 times 8 squared 
and that is a fraction is 1 over 192 plus here uh, 1 over 64, right? 8 squared, 64. We add that together to 1 over 192. And I have 1 over 96. So left and right hand side aren't equal. All right, let me just double check that I did everything right before I make that claim. I have fours here. Oh, that's what I did. I jumped these to be an 8. Silly me. 4. Quick fix. I don't know why I thought that was an 8. Anyway. Quick fix. I'm sure you guys are watching like, what the heck? How did I get that? I don't know. If you think you know where, where I got the 8 from, I'm not sure why I grabbed that 8. I mean, I was looking at that. We have 4 squared and 4. Easy fix here. 4, 1 divided by 3 times 4 squared. 1 divided by 3 times 4 squared. And that is a fraction. That is 1 over 48. And well, that's 1 over 16. So we add, right, 4 squared 16. So we add 1 divided by 48. To that and that fraction is a 1 24th. Did I do this right? Divided by 3, can I save this problem? 4 squared. I don't know, it's right. <laughs> I don't know what I typed around. 148 plus 116th uh, is a 112th. Okay, so after a few checks here, these two left and right hand sides are equal. Okay. I knew the answer for the four is a true answer. Just double check it here. So let's do it again. All right, now again, be careful with typing things in. It's so easy to make a mistake, as you can see. Same thing with negative two here. Hopefully I don't make a mistake here. Negative two squared plus two times negative two minus eight over three times negative two to the third power equals one over three times negative two squared plus one over negative two squared. All right. I'll type it in right. All right. Let's go left fraction. Let's see if we can get this done pretty quickly. Negative two squared plus 2 times negative 2 minus 8 and we're dividing that by 3 times negative 2 to the third power and that fraction here is just good old 1 third here 1 divided by 3 divided by negative 2 squared and our fraction for that is just 1 twelfth again and plus here 1 divided by negative 2 squared and plus 1 fourth, I should have known that. We add that to 1 twelfth. Please say we get 1 third. We do. Left and right hand side are equal. Good. And so negative 1 hat, oh, negative 2 is also an answer. And one thing you should see, it's always good to always double check even your check. You might have made a mistake there. Either way, our final answer are 4 and negative 2. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. MinuteMathTutor.com